here we are. We got up bloody early. It's um, quarter to seven. And uh, we just got here at Lake Argyle and we thought we'd be the first ones here. But and there's a little camper trailer already here, which is, it's all right, I get that, I think. But um, a bit of a bugger. This place is bloody chock-a-block full. So she's just been for a walk over there. What'd they say? They're not in there. They're not. Oh, it's not even open yet. No, it's oh. half seven, but we're second in the queue. Second in the queue. So touch wood, we should get a little spot. But um, I don't know. Gives us some time to just chill out, I guess. And so lucky we did get here early. So I'm um, getting a fair old line up. But we're still second in line here, which is pretty good. And uh, old mates just asked us if we wanted a powered, unpowered site. So, unpowered will be alright, we can get a little, get away with that, but uh, anything will do at the moment. And we're still just waiting around I think, he's just waiting for some people to clear out and then he's going to get us in, touch wood. So we've been given the heads up, we're going to get a spot, he's just taken all our details and pretty much told us to get out of the way, go back up onto the road and um, give him an hour or so to get a, some people out of there. But we got a spot, and um, thank god because this is just... It's already getting out of control. Anyway, we're gonna park up and chill for a bit. Well, we've got ourselves a camp and uh, bloody over the moon there. So she's just head down now and pay. But uh, old mates come up, gave us a ticket and uh, said to go and pay. But it's quarter to nine. So it didn't take long actually, which I'm pretty stoked about. And um, yeah, guess we'll wait for Soch to come back and we'll head on in there and set up. Bloody over the moon, yeah? In there before 10. What's the verdict, mate? Fucked up, but I can't let my hand. Yeah, it's fucked up. Don't know how much it's cost. But how many You're dollars? Huh? How many dollars? 37. A night. It's alright, 37 a night. So, uh, so she's got a map. Let's get in there. Looks like we've got to put a little wristband on as well. Well, we're in here. We got our spot, Lake Argyle. That's a bloody ripper. It's, um, that's it there. Sort of jam packed in here. But. Yeah, we're all set up. And, um, that's our view. Bloody rip of view. Apparently you just follow that track up there, takes you to the infinity pool, which so should be right into. We've whacked um, just some homemade sausage rolls on, just because they're easy to make and it's lunch for today, probably tomorrow as well. But um, so she's done some washing and we're about to go for a walk, check out the park before we do this sunset cruise. Starts at around two o'clock and it goes for about four hours. Comes with some like drinks, nibblies, just small stuff, so pretty excited for that to get out on the lake. This is a little infinity pool which is bloody jam packed. And we're just having a little walk around before we get to this tour, but little grass area here and it's just bloody full of people nice little restaurant down the road there must be delivering food to them there so this looks like our trusty steed to get us to the lake thoughts might break down on the way no she's the jewel of the kimberley anyway we're gonna get there and do a little pre-start I think and then jump on. Yeah, we'll be boarding the boat just down here to our left in Bamboo Cove. Bamboo Cove is relatively uh, protected and our amazing little band wall. Uh, it's the same width at the bottom it is right at the top. Or oh, long at the top I should say. About 330 metres. 
And down to the right, we have our uh, hydroelectricity plant. A couple of young blokes tried to surf that white water coming out of there. That's been an extreme sport. A couple of months ago, one of them saw infraction in hospital. Great tour. Beautiful sunset. Out on Lake Argo. This is just stunning this. What a beautiful night that was. Bloody awesome, that little one. That was 95 each for that, which is definitely worth it. It's bloody, it's just a beautiful night. But um, we were abruptly woke up this morning. We woke up abruptly this morning when the wind came up, which is a bit weird. and we blew our little sort of awning down and the washing off the line. But no damage or anything. We just had to get up pack it all up real quick and then as soon as we packed it up the wind went away but yeah anyway we're um, only doing the one night here because it's 37 bucks or something a night which is a bit steep for us we like our free camping so we're gonna pack it up and um, we'll head out of here head back to Kununurra and just sort of restock do a bit of shopping because we're heading into the bungle bungle so we've got to get back to our ways of free camping we're all packed up but we're um making the most of this money and we're going for a quick swim before we get out of here in the infinity pool which is one of the huge features they got here yeah. anyway we'll show you that when we get here well this is their amazing infinity pool How's that for an exit? This is their amazing infinity pool here at Lake Argyle. And it's freezing. Bit of an understatement, freezing, but bloody beautiful. Can't go wrong, can you? It's actually okay when you get in. It's just freezing when you're trying to get in. But how's that view? Ha, 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 ha. 
Good luck. <laughs> well, we're out of that. Got out about 10 minutes ago and it's 20 past 9. And I'm glad we got out of there pretty quick actually because there's about 40 or 50 caravans waiting out the front. So, mm, good little stay. Bit expensive but beautiful spot. Really like Lake Argyle. But anyway, we're going to do some shopping and um, just restock really. Head over to the, as close as we can get to the Bungle Bungle. We're hitting the road. We're off to somewhere out the front of Bungle Bungles. So just found a little free camp just around there. But uh, we're all fueled up, we're all watered up, emptied our rubbish bins and pumped the tyres up, so we're good to go. I think fuel is about $1.32. Oh, 132.9 it was actually. But yeah, happy days. We're out of Kununurra. Beautiful spot. Really don't mind Kununurra. There's uh, loads to see here. But we'll get back here one day, another time. Let's hit the road. Well, this is our spot for the night. I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put it down below here somewhere. But we've set up cozy in the corner there so we can leave our camper there for the night. Oh, the day, sorry, while we head into Bungle Bungles. But um, how's the neighbours? Just having a fat old time here. So we've got a cheap dinner for dinner tonight. Meatloaf. Uh, eight bucks 38 which is pretty good i guess i don't know for two of us and i'm hoping there's going to be leftovers for lunch tomorrow i think that's going to be to do us you know yeah, yeah like i'm saying bungle bungles tomorrow for um a day oh sorry two days next two days we've got bungle bungles but that's going to do us for today or well, this episode and um yeah cheers for watching guys might be a short one again i'm not too sure but um yeah thanks for watching Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>